This video is about how save files work in Tunic, and how you can exploit them for easier speedrun practice. It will also cover some of the problems that come from manipulating save files and how to deal with them. A text version of this video is available at a link in the description. If you're learning to speedrun Tunic on PC, you'll probably find it useful to directly work with the game's save files. It can be useful to have snapshots saved of different sections of your route, so you can easily load and practice any section you're struggling with. It can also be useful to know how to quickly roll back your save to a previous version if something goes wrong and you want to try something again. The save files are located here. Each save file is a .tunic file. They are plain text files, so you can open them with a text editor if you want to see how they work or make changes to your inventory. The game stores up to 10 versions of each save file. Files created by the game will be named as two numbers with a tilde in between them. The first number is the name of the file, you can rename this any way you want to organize your own backups, although there is one thing you need to be careful of. If one file's name is a subset of another file's name, for example if you have one file named Apple and another named Apple Pie, the game can lose track of which is which. The second number represents the time the save file was created and is used by the game to decide which file should be loaded and in what order they should be deleted once the maximum of 10 is reached. A file doesn't have to have this timestamp, a file that doesn't have it is assumed to be older than any save file that does. Although the game always puts a number here, you can change it to be anything you want. The game considers whichever file comes last in alphabetical order to be the latest one. Letters always alphabetize after numerals, so replacing the number with any word effectively breaks the autosave feature in the game, causing that file to always be the one that gets loaded. As of May 2022, the game ignores any subfolders along with their contents, so you can create a subfolder to conveniently hold any snapshots or backups you may wish to reload later. Simply copy them from the subfolder back into the main folder when you want to use them later. However, remember that this folder is under the game's control. It is possible that sometime in the future, the game or launcher may have a problem with anything that isn't expected to be there. So, I must recommend creating backups somewhere in your own documents folder if you choose to store your own files in the game's data folder. There are a few convenient ways to roll back a save file to practice something again. If you are practicing and you want to roll back a few minutes to try something again, it is easy to do so. Simply return to the title screen, delete a few recent save files, and select continue in the game. The game creates new save files frequently, including when you pause, quit to the title screen, load a save from the title screen, rest at a shrine, and go through a loading zone. It also creates a new save file when you die, and another one when you respawn after dying. If you die and then exit to the title screen, you'll typically need to delete four save files to return to before you died. There is a trick you can use if you want to load the same file repeatedly. For example, if you are going to be practicing a boss repeatedly. If you rename a save file and replace the timestamp with either a larger number or any word or letter, that file will always be loaded. I call this the timestamp glitch. All you have to do is return to the title screen at any time and select continue and the glitched file will be loaded. What I just described were manual ways of manipulating save files, but there is a save manager made by Museus which can be found on the Tunic speedrunning discord or at the link on screen or in the video description. I won't go into details of how it works in this video, but there is documentation available with the tool which you can follow. If you spend much time rolling back save files, you'll notice that entities like to remain dead even if you roll back to before you killed them. This is especially bothersome when practicing boss kills. When you kill an enemy, it is added to a list of enemies that should not spawn when you load the area. That way, enemies you kill won't respawn if you just go through a loading zone and then return immediately. I call these temporarily dead entities. If you die or rest at a shrine, the list of temporarily dead entities gets cleared and all regular enemies will respawn. Bosses will never respawn once killed, but they are still added to the list of temporarily dead entities. The list of temporarily dead entities is not saved in the save file and doesn't get erased when quitting to the title screen or when loading files. So if you kill a boss and then roll back to a save from before you killed it, the boss will not respawn because it is still considered temporarily dead. In order to respawn the boss, you'll need to perform some action that clears the list of temporarily dead entities. Actions that do this include dying, resting at a shrine, and restarting the game. 
creating a new save file also clears the list, so you don't need to worry about it when doing a full run. That's it for this video, I hope you found it useful. If you want to see my other Tunic tutorials, there's a link to the playlist in the video description. Happy practicing, and good luck with your runs!